I'm, t- I'm taking it in my butt. <laughs> I'm clipping that and I'm using that. Only that. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. I'm taking it in my butt. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. My guest today is a vision. I, I'm sorry. Oh. He plays Vision. I'm, I'm bad with that, Paul. He's also starring in the new film, Uncle Frank. It's coming soon on Amazon Prime. It's the one and only Paul Bettany. Hey, guys. How are you, Josh? I'm doing good. It's good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. Uh, in, in Uncle Frank, uh, written and directed by the great Alan Ball of Six Feet Under fame, yep. uh, you kind of play the cool uncle. You're the cool, yes. you're the cool uncle. Are you the cool uncle in real life? Are you the cool dad in real life? Um, I, I mean, that's much more a question for my children. Did you become any cooler in your kid's eyes when you became a Marvel superhero? Or was it just like, it's the, the die is cast. He, he is who he is. He's our dad. He's not cool. I think it's a mixture. Like for my daughter, she's at an age where people go, where the kids at a school, when they figure out, they go, your dad's the vision. <laughs> and she's, she's kind of like, it's sort of cool, but it's also sort of weird and, and, and feels odd and unnatural. And, and so she, I think she's very much of two, two minds. Right. Uh, Do they think you or Chris Evans is cool, or do you think? My, my daughter tortures me. She tortures me with all the other superheroes that she prefers to me. And, and she, has, she has worked her way through. I mean, when I'm FaceTiming with, with like Robert Downey Jr. and having a chat, and she'll come on and say hi, hi, and chat to him for a little bit. And then when she hangs up, she'll go, so much cooler than you. <laughs> and then just walk off and just leave me to my misery. Aww. Leave you awful, a, just a, bl- a blubbering child. mess. What have you done? Yeah. Here's some stupid would you rather questions, uh, Paul. Would you rather have a permanent Uncle Frank mustache or a permanent Southern a- accent? I'll take the Southern accent. <laughs> That mustache, it works, but it could be a little creepy at times. The mustache is an irritant. Would you rather be stuck in a house, in your house for six months or be stuck at a Comic-Con that lasts six months? <laughs> oh, good. I think you know the answer to this one. <laughs> Would you rather never be able to wear clothes again or only dress as the Vision? It's <laughs> a great question. <laughs> I would really, can I ask, can I choose where I make it, or am I just no, like you're a naked guy? You're a naked guy. You, you, clothes do not stick to your body anymore. I'm, I'm going to pick that. I'm going to pick being <laughs> naked. It's pretty uncomfortable, the uh, vision yeah. outfit. You stick out in a crowd. But you're going to stick out as a naked dude, too, by the way. Sure, but I might not die of heat exhaustion. <laughs> What about a pair of underpants? I mean, what no, if I no. want to take my kids to school? No, well, how, no. how can I take my so how can I take my kids? People you're, frown on that. You've got your weird Uncle Frank mustache. You're naked. You're going to be hauled off to prison. <laughs> oh no! This is the Dakota Johnson memorial question. She posed this to me on a previous episode of Stir Crazy. So blame her. Would you rather have a mouthful of bees or one bee in your butt, Paul? I'm t- I'm taking it in my butt. <laughs> I'm clipping that and I'm using that, only that. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. I'm taking it in my butt. Thank you for that early Christmas present. <laughs> there you go. What was he talking about? <laughs> well, tune in to find out. <laughs> exactly. There's our tease. WandaVision, we're very excited for. Shrouded as ever in mystery, but we will see it on Disney Plus relatively soon. Um, uh-huh. I, I know you can't say anything about it, but there are rumors swirling. Paul. So let me let me see if you can dispel any of these, okay? Okay. Is it true that Vision, we, this kind of dovetails with what we were discussing before, is it true that Vision is entirely naked for at least one episode? <laughs> yes, 100%. <laughs> really? Do we, do we actually get to see Vision's penis finally? Because there's a, a, a big groundswell for that. They want to see it. Well, here's the thing is, um, yeah, because I noticed that in, um, in The Watchmen, uh, you know, the, the, you know, yeah, they, 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 they go, they go. Yeah, Dr. Go Manhattan is full Dr. Manhattan. You see the whole Manhattan. Oh, it's, it's the size of Manhattan. It's, 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 a, fan, it's a fantastic example um, uh, of, of said an aforementioned penis. Uh, no, there is no, uh, there is no nudity, so to speak. Okay. But, uh, you know, but. 
these questions, I think people can answer this question for themselves, um, in that the vision, whether he does or doesn't, vision can change his density. So there's that. I hesitate to ask this, but what, what color? What color is, is said? He's purple. Yep. Okay. Right. I mean, he's purple. Can you guarantee it's at least better than, than Cats, the movie, and the animal? <laughs> yes, I can absolutely guarantee that. Um, uh, I think I can guarantee a few things. I think we took an enormous swing. I think it's going to pay off. Uh, I've never seen Kevin Feige more giddy and excited. Wait, so is this true? You shot an episode in front of a studio audience of, That's right. of WandaVision. Okay, talk to me. Is that insane for you? Like, are you like, I'm being pranked by Kevin Feige and Marvel? This doesn't seem right? Yes. Yes. And I was terrified because I hadn't been on stage for sort of 20 years or something like that. And I, uh, maybe 25 years. Oh my God. <laughs> and I, um,. We were all terrified. I have another challenge for you, my friend. I'm going to pose to you a, su a Marvel superhero. You tell me if it's an actual superhero or one I just made up. You ready? Oh, no. Squirrel Girl. Real hero or not? I think that's a real hero. Squirrel Girl is real. She has a furry tail that's roughly three to four feet long. That's a boon when trying to balance on things. Machete Man. I believe Machete Man is a real character. I'm sad to tell you, not yet. Maybe in your fanfic, but no. Ah, then I am being led astray by Machete. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> Clever little sneaky person. What about Battle Axe? I think Battle Axe is, and I'll tell you why. It's because you looked up and left, <laughs> and it made me think that you were trying to signal that you were just pulling this one out of... <laughs> Like the ether. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Uh, you're trying to tell me I yes. tell. <laughs> no, Battle Axe is real. Battle Axe is real. Uh, Captain Flem. Flem? I think it's not a real character. <laughs> I wish it were, but sadly it's something I made up. <laughs> I, I love the idea. That's a great superhero power. Dr. Bong. Is Dr. Bong a real character, Paul? Dr. Bong is not a real character. It's real. Oh, yes! <laughs> Wait, is it really? He's got a giant, I, gigantic bell on his head, apparently. That's so fantastic. <laughs> that's so, does he get anything done? Or does he, like, plan to save the world, but then, you know, yeah, but, miss the appointment? <laughs> yeah, ends up watching a Seth Rogen movie instead. Um, <laughs> all right, last game for you, and then I release you back into the wild. Let's play a classic game of charades, Paul, shall we? Oh, that is just, whoever sent me this is really, really mean. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it, I believe in you. Uh, it's a TV show, uh, four words, second word. Small, little, little, the little house on the prairie. Mm -mm. Small. This means small word. Wow, okay, I saw the dark side again. <laughs> okay, small word, small word. <laughs> the, for, it, a, it? Uh, it? On the nosy. <laughs> Third word. Uh, two syllables, small, small word, another small word for the second syllable. I'm lost. There are a lot of numbers going on here. One syllable, first syllable. Sounds like ass, poop, shit, poop, small poop, pee, uh, poop, 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 poopy, poopy. Sounds like poopy. Poo, 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 two poos, two girls, one cup, two. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> two syllables. What? What did I do wrong? Second word. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. Let's. Okay. We're gonna relax. Four, fourth word. Fourth word. Uh, teeth. Buck teeth. Um, gopher. Uh, gnaw. Chew. Uh, um, a rabid um, chipmunk. I'm never gonna get this. I'm never gonna get this. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. Beaver. What was it? Beaver. Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> and I know, whoever sent me that, I know what you wanted me to do. <laughs> Paul, are, are you ever going to speak to me again? I've never, you were so angry. Of course I'm going to, of course I'm going to speak to you again. I'm just never going to play fucking charades with you again. 